Welcome to my crib. We're gonna learn how to toe spin today. We're gonna do this lesson on my porch because I'm not trying to hear why we can't all eat. I'm not trying to hear that we can't practice because we haven't manifested a concrete roller skating palace yet. So for the uninitiated, this is a toe spin. Ooh, ooh, in the confined space. So I'm gonna tell you guys how to pull off the toe spin. The first prerequisite is to be able to do a toe manual. If you don't know how to do a toe manual, go back, practice that, and then come back to this. With a toe manual, I like to think of my legs as like scissors, so we're in our skater stance, we have our legs nice and bent, and what you're doing is you're separating your thighs and bringing them back together. Separate, bring them back together. Separate, bring them back together. Then you're going to push on the ball of your foot, not your toe, common misconception, on the ball of your foot. And then we're on the ball, on the ball, not the toe, the ball of your foot. If you can do that, you can do toe spins or at least very much work your way up to them and have them in like a week. First drill I recommend for toe spins is gonna be the pump toe manual. So you're just gonna do exactly that. We're pumping. Can you pump? Can you do this? Okay, pull this off your money. Then slow dribbles. So with your dribble, you're gonna do exactly the same thing. We're pointing our heel, I mean the ball of our foot, and then we're dragging it back. Point, drag, point, drag, point, drag, point, drag, point, drag. Okay, point, drag, point, drag, point, drag, point, drag, point, drag, point, drag. Point drag, point drag, point drag. When I'm pointing and dragging, my weight is shifted to one side. I'm pointing, that foot comes all the way back. Then I'm shifting to the front foot. And now my weight's on that front foot. Watch where my weight goes. Pointing, my weight is here. And then we shift it slowly to this side. Now it's here. Shift your weight. Faster dribbles. If you can do these a little bit faster, money. The next drill is going to be quarter turns. So rather than you trying to do a full turn, what you're going to do is just do a quarter turn. Hold your arms out for balance. And something that I think is really overlooked is where your shoulders go, your body will follow. You want to make sure your shoulders aren't working against each other. So for example, if I have my arms like this and I have this arm back here, my body's confused. It's like, do you want me to go this way or do you want me to go this way? What is super helpful is to just keep your arms here initially. Once you kind of get used to the quarter turn, be very, very conscious of, is my body working against itself? So then our arm is, our shoulder is kind of leading us in the direction that we're gonna go. So you hold your arms out and what you do is you just lift up onto the, the ball of your foot and do like a little quarter scoot. We're here, we're bent. My heel has come up, which means that the ball of my foot is down and we're just turning our shoulders and doing a little scoot. So the pressure is on the ball of my foot here and I'm using that to kind of lift myself. So we're here. Here, here, here. Kind of slightly, very, very slightly lifting up my heel on the other foot to make the turn happen. Little hop, little hop. See, my knees are still bent. Little hop, little hop, little hop. Focus on doing those quarter turns. If you can do them both ways, money, but if you can only do it one way right now, work on that one way. Just focus on those little quarter turns. Little hop, little hop making sure our shoulder is leading us in the direction that we want to go. The next step is we're just gonna make those little hops a little bit longer. That's all we're doing is we're here, okay? Little hop is a little bit longer. So rather than us be at our corner turn like this, we're gonna try to take it all the way back. So if I'm here, we're gonna lift a little bit longer and turn to face the direction we wanna go. That is so, so important. So if I'm looking at you at the camera, what I'm doing in my mind is I'm visualizing what's behind me. 
I want to see what's behind me. So we're here and we're just lifting and we're facing in the direction we want to go. So now I'm visualizing the camera. I want to see the camera. Okay, so think about what's behind you. The reason why you want to think about what's behind you is so that your head stays up and you don't go down and you throw off your center of balance. So if we're here, we're just holding that quarter. So we just graduated from a quarter to a half. So we're here, quarter, little hop. Now we're going to go to a half by just holding it a little bit longer. Okay, <laughs> I hope I didn't lose too many of you, but that once you get that down, you are so close to toe spins, you will be able to taste it. So once you get that down, you're just going to hold that for a full rotation. So we're here. All we did was extend the little hop that we did. So we're here. Remember our shoulders leading us. That's it, so make sure you have enough momentum and push the, push the ball of your foot into the ground, not your toe, the ball of your foot. If you can't go, if you can't make a full rotation, go until you can. Let's say you do your hop and you're only able to, to go, I don't know, what is that, 37%? That's okay, just keep doing that. Little hop. Little hop. <laughs> Once you get that down, you're gonna start pumping, okay? Pumping is what's going to keep that momentum going. So if I'm here, all right, and I wanna spin, now I'm pumping slightly. <laughs> oh, shit. So what happened there was I brought my arms in and centrifugal force was like, I'll take over, but I wasn't ready and it made me go too fast. So, so let's talk arm placement. When you're first starting out, what's gonna help you maintain control is keeping your arms out. Once you bring them in, momentum is like, oh baby, I got you, I'm gonna take over. You're not ready for all that. Different arm variations are gonna make you spin at faster rates. Narrow down the baseline first and then practice with your arms. It's still gonna be that same pumping action. Hop. That same pumping action in the toe manuals. Toe. The toe manual that's actually on the ball of our foot and not our toe. Pushing, we're pushing. Be, be very, very mindful of what your body's doing. What is happening right here? Okay, my knees are bent. I'm pushing all of my weight. My toes are actually up in my boot. Inside of my shoe right now, my toes are like this because I'm pushing force against this bottom piece. My core is tight here. Okay. And we're pumping and we're pumping, pumping. Once you feel good, you get a couple rotations, you can start playing around with your arms. How do you not get dizzy? What helps me not get dizzy um, is practice. This is gonna sound so terrible, but it's, it's straight up practice. I used to be one of those people who cannot even, don't bring me to an amusement park, we're not going on those spinny rides and now I can do rotations because your brain just gets used to it. I've heard before like fixate on an item, like if something is in your direct line of sight, keep turning your head to match that so that you don't get dizzy. If that works for you, give it a shot. But if you practice those drills, I promise you, you will have toe spins in no time. Just really making sure to be mindful of where your weight is and understanding that you are on the balls of your feet, not your toes. So we're putting it all together. Sometimes it's helpful to start in a dribble. You can like get ready for it. that, my friends, is a toe spin.